Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Kudu the Fish. My name is Afidullah Masudi, and today we are going to work on how to register users in our single page application. As you guys remember, in our last video, we secured our view router routes. So, in this video, first of all, we will create the login form and register form. So, let's create them. Let's open our project and text editor and in here let's go to resources js components and auth let's first create the form for the login so first of all let's remove this h5 because we don't need it and let's create a row or a div with a class of row and let's also get a class of justify dash content dash center and inside this div, let's create a call dash md dash sex. And inside this call md, let's create a div with the class of card. And we need our card dash header. And let's say login. And after that, we need our card body. So inside this code body what we need is to create the input fields so we want to create two input fields one for email one for password and one button to submit the login form so let's create first of all a div with a class of form group and now let's say label label for email let's say email and let's create an input field with a class of form control and let's also give it a name of email and let's copy this form group and paste it where this one should be for password let's say this one should be for password and the type should be password Class should be form control and name should be password also. After this, let's create another row. And inside this row, first of all, let's create a code dash md dash six. And first, well, let's put our button first. So let's create a form dash group. And inside here, let's say button, which should say login. And let's give the class of btn btn dash primary. And after the button, let's create another colimd six. And let's also give it a class of text dash write. And inside here, let's create a router link. Router dash link. And it should say create new account and let's say this link should go to slash register let's save it and let's get back to our browser but before that guys let's also open our command prompt window because we want to compile all the changes that we made so first let's navigate to our project folder so cd dot dot slash dot dot slash ramp 64 slash www slash laravel view and now let's say yarn run watch well it has been compiled successfully now if i refresh the browser you can see this is our login form and if i click on this create new account it is going to the register route so now let's copy the form to the register component also so let's get back to text editor and let's copy everything from here and open register component and paste it here now instead of login let's say register and for the register let's copy this email form group and paste it here where this one should be for name and type should be text but this name should be name and email is okay password is also okay but we need a password confirmation field also 
So this one should be for password underscore confirmation. Okay, confirm. And for the type, let's say password. And for the name, let's also say password underscore confirmation. Well, guys, this should be the same for you as I'm writing because if it is uh, something else it won't work so try to write it as it is now let's also change the text for the button and uh, let's say register and for this router link let's say already have an account and this one should be not and I think it's finished. Now let's get back to the browser and refresh. Yeah, this is the form for register. Well, now let's work on our VJS code and try to submit this form. But before everything, guys, let's first bind all the inputs to view objects. So first of all, let's give this input a v dash model and let's say form data dot name. Let's copy this field and paste it here. This one should be email. And let's paste it here. This one should be password. And paste it here. This one should be password confirmation. And after that, let's give her an uh, click event. To this button also so add click and it should say register user so now at the bottom let's first indent this a little bit and inside here let's return our data data return and let's say form data because we want to create our objects and first one is name, which is an empty field. Let's duplicate this one four times. The second one is email. The third one is password. And the fourth one is password underscore confirmation. And after that, we also want to include our errors because we want to validate the form. So let's also create an object by the name of errors which is an empty collection so now let's create our methods field so methods column curly brackets and the method that we want to create is this register user so in here let's paste it and yeah our brackets well before working on this register user method guys let's first create our endpoint and uh, after that we have to create a controller to manage uh, our laravel functions so first let's go to our routes and api.php and uh, in here let's say route column column post and we want to create this endpoint by the name of register and it should go to odd controller well, we will create this controller in a moment and inside that controller we want to create a method by the name of register now let's create this auth controller so let's open our terminal in this text editor so in here let's say php artisan make column controller and let's name it auth controller and press enter it has been successfully created now let's open our controller so let's go to app http controllers and auth controller what i want to do is let's say public function register and we have request coming from the form let's open our curly brackets now first thing is first we want to validate the data so let's say dollar sign request Arrow validate and 
let's say first we want to validate the name which is equal to required and let's duplicate this one four times and the second one is email it should be required also and it should be the type of email also and we want it to be unique in users email the third one is password uh, for the password let's say minimum should be six characters and we want to confirm this password also so let's say confirm and the fourth one is password underscore confirmation and this one should be required yeah that's enough let's close our code now let's uh, call our user model so user colon colon create and inside here let's say name should equal to dollar sign request hero name and let's duplicate this one well after name let's say email and this one should be email and the third one should be password and for the password let's cut it and let's make it hash so hash colon colon make and let's paste our code and let's terminate it also now after saving everything to the database now we want to return our json response so let's say return response parenthesis arrow json parenthesis and inside this json let's create a message so message should be equal to registered successfully and that's all for the controller now well don't forget to include your hash and user at the top of controller so let's include it let's say use app backslash user model and use hash now what we want to do is work on our interface so we have created this api route now we want to call this api route in our register component so in here what we can do is use our axios so axios dot post and our parenthesis and we want to call the api slash register endpoint and we want to pass the form data also so for that we can put a comma and let's say this dot form data and then we want to say then what we want to do with the response so response should equal to our curly brackets and we want to show it in the console so let's say console.log and let's say response.data and after that we want to empty the fields of uh, or the input fields because uh, after we submit this data we want to empty all these input fields so how can we do that we can do that by saying this dot form data dot name well let's copy this should equal to paste it this one should be for email let's say equal paste it this one should be for password and let's say equal paste it this one should be for password confirmation and after that everything should be equal to empty string and here we want to empty the errors also so let's say this dot errors should equal to curly brackets and after uh, everything has been successfully done we want to return our redirect to the login page so let's say this dot dollar sign router and dot push and we want to push to the login component and we also want to show a toaster message and if you remember we installed it in our previous video so we can say this dot dollar sign toaster dot success and let's say for the message account created successfully now 
you can lock. That's all. Now let's handle our errors. So let's say catch errors, which is equal to curly brackets. And inside here, let's call our object first. So this dot errors, and it should equal to errors dot response dot data dot errors. And let's say console dot log dot or yeah inside here let's say let's show the errors also and copy this and paste it here too and yeah that's all the code we need well the only thing that is left is to show our errors in our interface also so to do that what we can do is yeah let's say enter and create a paragraph and let's give it a class of text dash data and let's use a view component which is v dash text and we can say errors dot name and let's copy this one from here and let's paste it in here and this one should be Let's paste it in here also, and this one should be for password. And let's paste it for our password confirmation also. Password confirmation. I think we are done with the code, guys. Now let's get back to the browser and test our code if it works. So let's refresh. And let's also open our inspect elements and go to console. Let me close this. Now let's try to submit our form empty. So if I say register, yeah, you can see it is prompting us and saying the name field is required, the email field is required, the password field is required, and the password confirmation field is required. Well, let's say for the name of Islam. And now register, yeah, it is asking for the three others. So our validation is working just fine. Now let's try to uh, submit the form. So Fizula at apple.com, password should be password, and confirm should be also password. Let's say register, well, the password confirmation does not match. I think I miss a spell. So let's do password, password. And now let's say register. Yeah, you can see account created successfully. Now you can log in. And if we go to the PHP my admin, so localhost PHP my admin, and let's go to Laravel view. Now let's go to this users table. Yeah, you can see our user has been created successfully. So our code is working just fine. Well, guys, I think this is enough for this video, and you have learned a lot. In this video, you have learned how to register users in single page applications, and you also learned how to handle the errors of the input fields. I hope you enjoyed watching the video, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video with your friends. And thanks for watching, guys. So, see you guys in the next video.